Okay, so now we're at the movie theater portion of this level. So basically what I'm going to do is just go throughout each of the rooms and get all the audio diaries first. There's um like the main objective in this level is to harvest little sisters. Mm -hmm. So whereas in other levels you still should harvest little sisters. This level, it's the main objective. So in the theater, there's a big daddy with a sister. And I'll do that okay. in the next video. So this is just me getting everything and then getting ready to do the fight. Got it. So, so yeah. Um, so we're talking about Bioshock 2 DLC being already on the disc. Right, and this is something that's come up many times before with a lot of other games. Mm -hmm. Like, this is not new. I, I just thought I'd point it out because we're doing Bioshock 2. Yeah. And, um... And not just 2K, I mean, every publisher. Capcom basically. did it with... Capcom, Capcom's a king of doing it. Yeah. I don't know how, like, I it doesn't bother me at all. Really? Like, I'm, I don't care. <laughs> I mean... The only argument that I have is I paid 60 bucks. I want the whole damn game. Mm -hmm. Besides that, yeah, $60 I can't. is a lot for a game, especially when within a month of the game coming out, mm -hmm. they're releasing DLC. Mm -hmm. Like that. So <laughs> to have the full game within a month of the game coming out, it's 65 bucks. Yeah. Plus tax or shipping mm -hmm. or whatever you do to get your games like that I I think that's the bigger problem I mean if this game was like, games are so freaking overpriced as it is like $60 for some of the shit that they put out there mm -hmm. for a full retail price is way too much so yeah I mean that's I mean ooh, wow <laughs> yeah. his head is pinned to the ceiling yeah that is fucking awesome it really is a great effect of nice that face. Gun. Dude, his face just got melted, dude. <laughs> uh, I still need to see a uh, current gen cerebral bore. Oh, I haven't seen that since the N sixty four. Yeah, if they released that as DLC for Turok, I'm sure you would have bought that. You okay, the new Turok wasn't Turok. It was like let's use the Unreal Engine to make. A dinosaur, a dinosaur game. game. Yeah, that's dream. true. And it is paid for the Turok the IP. Which is the only reason that you played it. Yeah. And almost anybody played it. Right. I wouldn't have old. played Dinosaur Land or whatever they did. Billy and the Clonosaurus? <laughs> I would have played Billy and the Clonosaurus. That's actually true. I think I would have too. <laughs> that would be awesome. Um. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, it's up to the, okay, so Bioshock or 2K mm -hmm. has to take a look at this and they say, okay, is, you know, doing this way of DLC screwing us over in the long end because people are pissed and we're getting bad press? Well, here's or is it gonna... worth recouping the costs? I don't know. Getting extra money. Yeah, I mean, nobody but them knows what their balance sheets look like for mm -hmm. this game. Like, no, nobody but them knows what they what they projected to sell in that first month in terms of retail copies for sixty bucks. Mm -hmm. And nobody but them knows exactly what percentage to expect of people to buy this DLC. Mm -hmm. As an end user, I okay. <laughs> I'm not making a guide for this game, so I'm kind of on the same page as somebody who hasn't bought the game yet. Mm -hmm. And when I see that there's already DLC out for this, that I'm gonna have to pay five dollars more for mm -hmm. if I want, if I really want to have the full multiplayer experience, um, that makes me more likely to go to GameStop and buy a used copy for cheaper, or to wait for a price drop. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, just to clarify, after like I'm a level thirty on there, uh -huh. I would not say that you're missing out on the multiplayer experience in the slightest bit by not having this. Okay. Like well, I don't even think 
Well, it wouldn't Assassin's affect me at all at, in any way. It doesn't bother me that I don't have it. Okay, well, theoretically. Mm -hmm. Use Assassin's Creed 2 as an example then. Because they've had two DLC packs that have come out within mm -hmm. a quarter of a year of the game's release. Mm -hmm. Same situation. Each of those is probably five to ten bucks a piece. Do I want to go to GameStop, pay sixty bucks for a new copy, and then go home and pay ten to twenty dollars more for extra DLC, or do I buy a used copy for and get the full experience for sixty bucks? For sixty bucks. But then Ubisoft gets none of that money. Well, they get the 10 bucks of DLC. Well, they, they get the $10 of DLC, which is why they release DLC so much. But... Well, aside from Ubisoft being a bunch of French bastards... <laughs> you, you're, you're talking about the DRM rant that I went on earlier? Uh, sure. Re referring to that? Okay. Or the fact that they're French in general. Oh, right, okay. Um, When you look at a game like Assassin's Creed 2 versus a game like, I don't know, Left 4 Dead 2. Okay. Left 4 Dead 2 has a bunch of free DLC. Um, or the first one did. And in general, Steam... Not on the 360. Oh. They charged for everything on the 360, but the PC version was free. Oh. Well, I'm just saying, like, you gotta... Wouldn't it be worth it to just include the... Okay, so for Assassin's Creed 2, mm -hmm. they knew they, had these, they didn't have time to make those two levels. So they just scrapped them and said, let's do it as DLC. Okay. Why not throw in um, a key code with new copies of the game that say, when the DLC Whoa, comes that's out... Big Daddy just staring at you. That was scary as shit. I'm sorry, continue. So when the DLC comes out, you get those two levels included in the game. But if you buy a used copy, you don't get those two levels. Mm -hmm. That seems way better of a deal. Because then you don't feel screwed if you're paying for the whole game, and you are getting screwed if you're buying a used copy, which is exactly what they should want to incentivize. That is true. That's what... But, but then you get to what Gears of War 2 did, where mm -hmm. there's a bunch of DLC and Mass Effect 2. Like, there's a bunch of shit that I can't play as an alternate account, or we'll talk about this in the next video. Okay.